The stage is set and the tension is palpable. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining and absorbing football to come. And it would take a brave person indeed to predict the outcome. What an enticing prospect. Next on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Norway versus Croatia. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And winning it back. Here's how Norway will begin the game. Well, in this 4-5-1, they've only got one up front, but there are two or three of the midfield players who love to break forward with quality. But the most important players for me will be the wingers. They have to provide the energy and dynamism. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And up front, it's the Croatian international, Andrei Kramaric. And teammates to play it to. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Holland! And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Now a short corner here. Martin Odegaard. Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. Oh, hang on, Stuart. It's a chance. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Who can he pick out? Struggling to get it away. Textbook defending inside the box. Oh, that's a fine save. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Holland and able to close down the shot. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Brekalo. And Kramaric on the ball. Modric. Modric! And smacked against the crossbar. Goal kick here. Well, he's got past his man. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. He's in behind. Decided to take on the shot from a difficult angle. Well, from that position, it's a very good effort. Just inches away from being a brilliant goal. Martin Odegaard. Now look at this, they might be able to cash in here. My goodness, that save, fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. He's driven in the corner. 
And the problem not completely solved. Well, threat over for now. Exploiting the wide area. Can they take the lead here? And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. But he's gone short with it. Well, he loves drifting in off the flank. Foiling his opponent completely. Very quick thinking there. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. This looks more than decent. Can they profit from this? And it's played into the centre. Oh, such a pity that the move ended in that fashion. You're absolutely right. Forget the finish. That was a great counter-attack. That was flowing football at its very best. Perfect challenge. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Crossing opportunity. He's putting it wide from there. A pity, really. Well, the stats tell you everything. Their finishing just hasn't been good enough. They've controlled much of the game, but they need to start taking some of these opportunities. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Does appear to be in control, Luka Modric. Kovacic! Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, opting for the short corner. Look at Modric. A glorious chance. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Didn't quite perform to his usual standards in the first half, Erling Haaland. Stuart, your take? Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggled to have any real impact on the game. He hasn't got on the ball enough, and when he has, he's given it away cheaply. But I'm sure we'll see a marked improvement in the second half. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Spikic. Stanisic. Giving the ball away. Holland. Now, perhaps they can counter from here. They need to get bodies back. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Showing real patience. Can they forge ahead? Holland. Well, not troubling the goalkeeper at all there. And from that sort of distance, you should be troubling the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. Mateo Kovacic. And cuts inside. It was on its way in. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? The fans want to see a shot. Real chance. Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. Mateo Kovacic. 
Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal! 1-0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment. for his team. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Erling Haaland. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Holland. Oh, fancy footwork. Safe pair of hands. Did his job. And Norway with the ball again. Has a go. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Brozovic. And a strong tackle. Holland. And defensive play to be applauded. Delivering it into the box. Opportunity, maybe. Well, he didn't catch it badly, but certainly questions to be asked about the lack of accuracy there. Brozovic. A potential danger here. He has time to play it over. Can he do it? Well, they've got to hope that won't come back to haunt them. A golden opportunity squandered. Well, that should have sealed the victory. It's a real waste, I have to say. Well, almost there, the final whistle nearly upon us. Have they done enough to secure victory? Stuart, your take. Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point, and I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. Space afforded him. And playing it back. Great defending. But well, it comes down to the final five minutes. And in the perfect position to read it. Kramaric. It's with Erdogan. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Well, that one has promise. And that...
not a great challenge. Free kick here. And they're making a change. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, this might be the final opportunity to draw level. Well, not away properly. And the final whistle is sounded and a real sense of feel good in the Croatian camp because this has ended in victory. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, Mateo Kovacic, brilliantly effective. No two ways about that, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.